Dora, me and your dad are going to Hong Kong for our lone mini vacation time for three days. But you're not going with us because you're a little too young to go, plus, you're still grounded. By the way, Thomas Fan 2020, and Amanda Cress will take care of you while we are gone. Alright, mom and dad. I'll be good. I promise. That's a girl Dora. See you in a few days. I love you. Goodbye. Hello Dora, I'm Thomas Fan 2020. And I'm Amanda Cress. It's nice to meet you, Dora. Well, it's nice to meet you as well. So, what are we going to do today? Me and Amanda are hosting a movie night. And today, we're going to show Pixar's Cars and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. What do you think of these movies, Dora? Oh no! I hate Pixar's Cars and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Besides, these two movies are so boring as hell. I want to go to Vion Stadium and Movie Theater to see the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, produced by Nickelodeon Movies and distributed by Paramount Pictures. I want to see that instead. Dora, stop that attitude, Missy. We're not taking you to see the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. We are hosting a movie night and show the double feature of Pixar's Cars and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and that's final. Yep. I agree with Amanda, either you watch the double feature of Cars and Guardians of the Galaxy, or else, we'll call your parents and ground you. Ugh. Fine then. Well guys, look at these vintage movie posters. Stick your eyes on those posters. Yeah, I cannot stop looking at those vintage film posters. They're awesome and retro dude. Yeah. These movie posters from the 1960s to the 1970s are so vintage, retro, and so awesome as heck. Yeah, I agree with you with those movie posters. They're retro and vintage, you know. Yeah, these movie posters caught my own eyes. These were so awesome and retro, you know. Well, I'm glad that you guys like those posters. They're retro, you know. Oh, Thomas, Amanda, good thing you're here for the movie night. Yeah. So, we're hosting a movie night. Yep. We're showing the double feature of Pixar's Cars and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you hear that guys? They're hosting an awesome movie night. Yep. So, do you want to get going, guys? Of course. Let's get going. <coughs> Hello guys! Nice to see you all! Hi Pac-Man, good thing you're here. Yeah, that is awesome that you're in the movie night. Yeah, this is going to be so awesome. Let's get going. Team Sonic and his buddies are waiting. Come on. Okay everyone, we got Sarah West, Kirby, Toad, Waddle Dee, Cappy, Waddle Doo, Spike, Yoshi, Pac-Man, Claptrap, Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Froki, Digby, Isabelle, Jigglypuff, Red Slash, Mario, Luigi, Gold Mario, I I, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Sonic Boom, Tails Boom, Knuckles Boom, Eggman Boom, Poe Land Ball, USA Ball, Neptune, Plutia, Ramu, Marissa, Homero, and Sir here at the movie theater for an awesome movie night. That's right, Thomas Fan 2020. Thanks for inviting us for a movie night, dude. Yeah. Thanks for inviting us. Well, I'm so glad to hear it from you guys and gals. Yeah. So, we have four characters to go share some videos you like. 
So, who wants to go first? Well, may I go first? Thomas Fan 2020. Of course, Red Slash, you are the first out of the four characters to share any videos you like. Alright. So, do you want to see the trailer reel from 1970 to 1975? Well, as you wish, my friend. Uh, yeah, I hope this trailer reel is rare and vintage, don't you think? Dude, you're Charmander. I agree with you with this trailer reel, buddy. Yeah, play the trailers, Red Slash. Sure. Let's watch the movie trailers right now. I hope they're retro and vintage. Keep your eyes peeled, boys and girls. You are completely nude in the doorway. Oh. Completely. But the cat, nobody ever sees me. I'm oh, yeah, he'll see you. Yeah, but the... But the, the camera, camera will see the back of you. Oh. Really? In other words, the shot will be all of you in the back. But you have to be wearing nothing so we can get the shock on his expression when he knocks I'm on the door and you're... let you do that now? It's not for television. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. This oh, is a movie. Right. This is a movie. Right. Yeah. Alan Fun, his first candid camera feature film. What do you say to a naked lady? Is this the third floor? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me where Mr. Price's office is? Uh, I, I don't know. What do you say to a naked lady? One that you barely know. Oh, 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 oh. You don't have to expose every part of the body just to satisfy people. Excuse me, is Mr. Price's office on this floor? Oh, God. Uh... What do you say to a naked lady? Do you just say hello? Oh, 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 oh. What was the necessity of a woman going out, hanging and shaking all over? Hi, how nice to see you. What is that? Excuse me, lady, would you hand me my fig leaf? Hi, and don't I know you and... Pornography is not supposed to be allowed. Say, haven't we met before? How do birds do it? I yes. think that the uh, birds do it the same as a human being does it. The birds are like every other human being in the world. They're not human beings, they're birds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I might know about the birds and the bees, but I don't know about them bees with them birds that fly on them trees. Or oh, do you look the other way, look away? I have no idea. Yes. It varies. 85, 90. It varies very much, at least but once a month. 40. Oh, about 25. At what age did you have your first experience? I haven't. Would you explain why? I like the idea of being a virtuous person. Pretending she's not really there, look away. <laughs> they make it think. This is overpowering. Oh. Oh. You have to sit in the fit in here. That's ridiculous. For the sex scenes, that's what held the people in the seats. They were, look, I was waiting for that. When she passes you by, passes by, do you turn around and stare? I've been watching Candid Cam for a long time, and I've never seen nothing like this on Candid Camera. <laughs> never. After six, seven weeks, you'll have nobody coming to see this picture. I was sort of thinking that you should really ban this movie to anybody over 17, because I think if a parent comes and sees this movie, <laughs> what do you say to a naked lady? Who's the heavyweight champion of the world? Cassius Clay, in a motion picture with every brutal punch he threw in the ring, every beating he took outside. Only in America could a black man win the heavyweight championship of the world and lose it without even taking a punch. <laughs> Cassius Clay, dancer, craftsman, the boxer supreme. Outside the ring, he's Muhammad Ali, one of the most controversial black men of our time. Even if it means facing machine gun for that day, I will face it before denouncing Elijah Muhammad and the religion of Islam. 
Williams. Even Tarzan, the king of the jungle in back Africa. Cheval. Angel food cake is the white cake. But the devil food cake is the chocolate cake. I think you should be locked up for uh, impersonating a fighter. If you want to lose your money, then bet on Sunday. Listen. Oh, I whooped him so bad. Wasn't that good? Never write about me like him. Never make me fix the one. Cassius Clay, the motion picture that pulls no punches. Bad or the camera was broke. One more time, who's the champ of the world? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Miss Ginger McAllister, a girl of many talents. She's a special kind of secret agent, a girl who loves her work, and she's the best in her business. Now, she's back in action in the biggest ginger excitement of all. Girls are for loving. Beautiful girls set out on a swinging summer that turns into a chilling nightmare of terror. Which ones will die? The roommates, luscious, lovable, tantalizing, terrific, absolutely sensational. The roommates, they share more than their rooms. Do you ever think of anything but sex? No, I don't think so. The roommates. Which ones are targets for a killer? The roommates. Rated R. What time is it? America, 1957. It was howdy duty time and rock and roll was king. You cruising for a bruising sign? You want a mouthful of bloody chicklets? And Melvin and rock and roll rebels were wanted for bank robbery, kidnapping, bigamy, and 57 violations of the traffic code. Crazy Mama! Drop those guns, lady! Crazy Mama! Rated PG. Nature strikes back in tidal wave. The most destructive natural force on Earth. 
First came the earthquake, crushing whole cities, then raging firestorms, destroying thousands. But the worst is yet to come. That wave hits 80 million people will be wiped out. Tidal Wave, rated PG. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what you've all been waiting for, The Man Killer. The book that couldn't be written is now the motion picture that couldn't be made. Myra Breckenridge. with you boys get your resumes out you have a lot to learn all you men have a lot to learn and I've taken it upon myself to teach you Myra Breckenridge is a dish and don't you ever forget it here I come everything you've heard about Myra Breckenridge is true Arnie and Henry, the roughest, meanest pack of bikers to come down the road since the boys in the band. What in the hell is this? It's a maiden form and it's mine. Give it to me. Package. What? The Pink Angels, a different kind of motion picture about a different kind of motorcycle gang. Behind the denims and black leather jackets, sugar and spice and everything nice. I see America, she's just around the bend. The Star Spangled Banner. You know, Arnie, I never knew my dad. For heaven's sakes. How come? He was always in drag. <laughs> Where you men headed? Down the coast. Los Angeles? Yeah, LA. And what are you gonna do there? Ball. What? Okay, hold it right there, fella. What did you have in mind, fancy pants? <laughs> Nothing I'd like more than to nail a few of those long-haired bastards. The Pink Angels. They rode a lonely road marked detour through a straight world. A world that wouldn't allow them to survive. Hi. Where's your broads? The joy's got better boys. Pays a rejoice. Oh, would you like ten pounds of dangling fury? Black is not only beautiful, it's good. Don't miss the Pink Angels, hard riders wearing a size 10 dress. <laughs> Hello, America. This is Miss America. Coonskin's coming. <laughs> and I'm in it. This is it. Coonskin, this is really it. <laughs> This is it. 
This is really it. Every so often, a story comes along to break your heart. The Loners is that one. The Loners, hunted by the law. They stole to live and kill to survive. I'm half Navajo. My mother was Scotch-Irish. That's some combination, an Irish-Indian. I never scalp on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Are you on the run or something? I sort of killed a cop. She was young and defiant. And now, a killer. They wanted to make it by their own rules. They wanted to be free, but the world was stacked against them. Here is a story filled with warmth, with strange coincidences, with moments of rare humor. Uh, I got a kind of problem. Boom, boom, boom. Great, man. The Loners, a gutsy story of three young people who dared to be different. The Loners, this year's Easy Rider. Do I have your bike? I'm still racing. Where are you racing to? The Loners, starring Dean Stockwell, Pat Stitch, and Todd Sussman. Rated R from the Fanfare Corporation. Murakami will bizarre production present. <laughs> Hi, Dave. It's really great to be back on your panel. I'm sure the people at home will be interested to know why such a large dwarf as you is all dressed up like Frank Zappa. Tell us, Larry. What's the deal? He made me do it, Dave. He's such a creep. He's making me hold this Aladdin. so excited when somebody from a group that's near me, I just, ooh, I just... <laughs> In this group, all I ever get to do is play Zappa's comedy music. <laughs> uh, you must remember that within the conceptual framework of this filmic event, nothing really matters. Jeff has gone out there on that stuff! You should have never have used the elixir and only stuck to the incense. Oh, Atlantis.
This movie trailer reel from 1970 to 1975 were so vintage and awesome at the same time. I've never seen those trailers, although... Hip, hit, hit, and boom! I agree with you, dude. Those previews were so vintage and real as well. Also, you also also awesome as my girls. Those previews were so awesome as well. Yeah, boys, I agree with you with this movie previous from 1970 to 1975. These were vintage, but weird. <laughs> of course they're vintage. This 1970 to 1975 movie trailer reel was so rare as well, you know. Yeah. So vintage, so rare, and so awesome those movie previews were guys. Wow, Jigglypuff. This 1970 to 1975 movie trailer reel was so rare and vintage, isn't it, gal? Yeah, Isabel, I agree with you. This reel was so rare, and darn vintage. And it's 20 minutes long. Well, Sonic, this 1970 to 1975 movie preview reel was so long, so rare, and so vintage, don't you agree, dude? Heck yeah, Tails, I agree. I agree with you with this trailer reel. This makes me want to wiggle my ears, and our ears are wiggling like Tuppy. That's weird. Well, I have to say, this 1970s movie preview reel was so rare, vintage, and weird. You know that, guys. Yay, Sonic Tails! Hey, hey, Mario! This trailer reel was so vintage and real awesome and weird at the same time, get it? Well, of course. This vintage and rare movie trailer reel caught my big, blue eyes. Yeah, Kirby. This movie trailer reel caught my big brown eyes as well, buddy. Yeah, dudes. This caught my eyes as well with those previews. Yep. These were so vintage, rare, retro, and awesome at the same time. These previews caught my large eyeballs. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, this 1970s movie trailer reel looks so rare and vintage. And I seem to agree with you guys and girls. Yeah, agreed. So, may I go second, Thomas? Of course, Poland, you are the second character to go second to share some videos you guys like. Alright then, so, have you seen some weird sequences from SpongeBob SquarePants? Dude, Poland, why the heck are you going to show them some weird scenes from SpongeBob SquarePants? No duh, I agree with you, USA Ball. Yay! I hope this SpongeBob scene compilation is going to be weird and fetish you know. Right. So, Poland, let's watch the Spongebob scene compilation, buddy. Okay then, here are the weird sequences from Spongebob Squarepants. Peep your eyes on the scenes. Mr. Krabs? I'm just going to make a few changes to the Krusty Krab menu, that's all. Changes? Oh, that reminds me. Do you have an eraser I could borrow? Eraser? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll just cross it off. No more Krabby Patties. <laughs> Okay, just breathe normally, son. There you go. That's it. There! He's starting to revive! I had this horrible dream that Mr. Krabs is never gonna let me cook Krabby Patties again! Pardon me. We're losing him! Beautiful. You're a crusty dog, sir, with extra mustard. Thanks. Can I bring you something else? Okay, I guess not. Thank you, sir. Wait for it, SpongeBob, wait for it. Now! Yeah, remember that? That was, oh my, Neptune! That crusty dog is about to explode! What? Where? <laughs> Mr. Krabs sure has a lot of baggage about drain dealies. The main drain sounds very, very dangerous. I'm never gonna go near that thing. We should go find it! To protect it from people like us! What if we get sucked in like those other two kids? Oh, don't worry. We're not little kids. We're all grown up. Hey, old baby dude. Did you just put that on? 
No, I didn't want to lose it, so I put it there right before we started filming. <laughs> This thing is stuck pretty good. I guess this is it. Oh, you really saved me. Splinter! Okay, well, it's been nice knowing you, but you have got to go now. Okay, ah, we go. Oh, well, that kind of hurts. Come on. Oh, that really hurts. Oh, barnacles, this hurts. <laughs> Cock shell manatees, this is painful! <laughs> Okay, you're tough, you're smart, and you are charming. But you are still no match for me! Look, a bald eagle with a mustache! <laughs> okay, fine, stay. But I hope you like making Krabby Patties. Yeah, it'll be pretty quiet around here with Mr. Krabs sending you home early and all. I just hope we'll make it through the whole rest of this day without you here. <laughs> What? Me? Tell Mr. Krabs? Oh, no! No, 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 Well, maybe. I don't have to tell Mr. Krabs. Because he already knows. is such a crybaby. And lucky me, I get to work with him all day. SpongeBob, guess what? Yeah, I'll come back later. He was a good little crabby patty. I didn't know him well, but in the few short seconds between grill and floor, I... I came to love him! <laughs> it just isn't me! What, SpongeBob? Will you stop crying? There was a Krabby Patty fell on the floor and then he... Krabby Patty nothing! Bye, Krabby Patty nothing! <laughs> what now? It's a quick montage of flashbacks I've edited together that shows the hundreds of tears you have cried over the years. We 
Thousands of tears later. <laughs> wow, guess I do cry a lot. He cried, and he cried, and he cried even more. And he kept crying, and crying, and crying, and crying, and, and, and that's right, you can do it. I'm wondering if it might not be so healthy to hold it on my tears, Squidward. You're exactly right, SpongeBob. Let it all out. Don't fight the field. Ten, nine, do it, do it, cry. Eight, seven, six, five, come on. SpongeBob. It looks like you won. <laughs> wow, what a great show! Well, at least we're still together, little ones. Success! Uh-oh, that ain't good. No, 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 no! I can see everything! Good thing I always bring backup milk. Uh-oh, here we go. Eureka! It's gone. That disgustingly good eye is finally gone. I'm not a very strong swimmer. Okay, that's enough. It's closing time. You know, it just won't be the same around here without you. You'll have to visit sometime. As a customer. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Sign out. Good riddance. Man, is it gonna be sweet without that pest around? <laughs> this day couldn't get any better. It says, future side of the Shelly Superhighway. Superhighway? Do you know what that means? Well, yeah, it's sort of like other uh, roads, except there are no stops. I know what a superhighway is. I mean, for all these jellyfish. For us, for jellyfish field. Sorry. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. I actually would like to help, but I'm just too busy right now. Too busy doing what? I'm too busy telling you. No! Private SpongeBob! Ahoy! Captain Mr. Krabs, ahoy! Why, SpongeBob, that's not your usual four fingered salute! Well, I guess I'm just upset because they're building a highway over jellyfish fields. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, I'd sure hate me customers to see you like this. Is there anything I can do to help? Really, Mr. Krabs? Sure, why not? Oh, Mr. Krabs! I just know that together we can stop that nasty old highway from going right through Jellyfish Field. <laughs> uh, you're not talking about the Shelly Superhighway, are you? Yeah, why? Uh, well, because I'm actually in favor of that highway being built. No, no, no! Yes, I've already calculated how many new customers I'll get once it's finished. You can see for yourself in this whole series of charts and diagrams I've displayed. <laughs> charts and diagrams. I'm on it, Mr. Krabs. No, boy, oh, not that kind. Mr. Krabs, what are you saying? The Krusty Krab can't stay in business. Not like this. It can't? No, SpongeBob. It's time to activate Plan Z Dash Niner Niner. Z Dash Niner Niner! <laughs> Well, guys, these SpongeBob SquarePants sequences make my eyes roll like bowling balls. That was weird and crazy, you know? Yeah, these SpongeBob sequences were so weird and so crazy as well. Plus, I agree with you, Cappy. Yeah, I have seen those weird sequences from SpongeBob SquarePants like a thousand times. Yeah, 
It's like a million times that those weird SpongeBob scenes caught in our eyes. This caught my blue eyes. Yep. This caught my brown eyes. And these caught my black, beady eyes as well. Yeah, that was fetish and weird those SpongeBob sequences were. Don't you agree? Agreed. Plus, they were degrading and fetish at the same time, you know? Yep. These were degrading and weird. Plus, we've seen those sequences like a million times. Yep. Agreed. You know, nowadays, Spongebob is getting toxic due to some future seasons. Oh yeah, Amanda. Agreed. So, may I go third, Thomas? Of course you can, Jigglypuff. You're the third character to share some videos you guys and gals like. Thanks, buddy. So, have you seen some Rocky and Bullwinkle segments, ladies and gentlemen? Good go, Jigglypuff! Yep. I bet this is a retro cartoon. It's going to be so funny and awesome at the same time, don't you think? Oh yeah, Isabel. I agree with you, sis. Well, can we watch the cartoon segments, Jigglypuff? Of course. Let's watch those retro Rocky and Bullwinkle segments. I hope they're awesome and funny. Someday for our fan club picnic, sunshine, blue skies. Sunshine, blue skies, terrible, isn't it? But maybe we'll have a sudden storm later. Okay, here we are. Everybody set for the sack race? All set. Captain Peach Fuzz, you're supposed to use an empty sack. That would make it easier, Rocky. Hey, your feet are sticking out. That's not fair. Well, well, must be a moth hole. that have to be a pretty big moth. You got a pretty big moth yourself, buddy. This sack racing seems awful dangerous to me. Dangerous? Yeah, might run into a tree or something. Now, first one to the tree and back wins. Ready, set, go! Gee, I didn't know you were so good at this, Bullwinkle. It's nothing. I spend a lot of my spare time in the sack, you know. Time for the Miss Bullwinkle and Rocky Fan Club Contest. All set, Dalek. Every girl is like a melody. That's melody. With Natasha in contest, it's melody. Uh, where are the other contestants? What other contestants? She's the only girl in the club. Sort of narrows down the competition, don't it? As head judge, Natasha, I'd like to give you this trophy. Pretty good, Natasha. Last thing you got from a judge was 90 days. Well, let's eat. Did everybody bring his favorite dish like we decided? Yep. yep. But Winkle, yours is empty. This is my favorite dish, Rocky. You didn't mention anything about bringing food. Now, fly into more fun with Bullwinkle and Rocky. Last time you remember, Bullwinkle tried out his ultra sultry look on a couple of young ladies who promptly fainted dead away. Oh! Bullwinkle didn't know that the girls had really fainted because they saw a mouse. Yeah, now he's convinced he's the greatest actor in the world. Oh, I am not. You're not? I'm just one of the greatest. But you can't go to Hollywood, Bullwinkle. I don't want to go, Rock, but they need me. You ought to be in pictures. Oh, isn't that terrible? You were born to be kissed. Come on now, Bullwinkle, you're not serious. Just watch me. And snatching up a mattress full of money earned from his paper route, the movie struck moose had left the cottage. Wait up, Bullwinkle. You're my buddy. I gotta go along with you. Yeah, no bless, no bleed, J. Rock. What's that mean? I don't know, I just made it up. Now our boys are on the way to California, unaware that Bullwinkle's mattress full of money is the target of two pairs of sinister eyes belonging to... Oh, no, it isn't... Oh, it can't be. Say the name. Boris and Natasha. Ta-da! Ta then we steal mattress, Boris. No time like the president, Natasha. Look, we're coming to tunnel. When it gets dark, we grab mattress and make a run for it, okay? Okay! And as our heroes sat unsuspecting, the train plunged into a dark tunnel. Now, Natasha. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, who are you? I'm Bullwinkle. Not you, you. I'm still Bullwinkle. I got it, Natasha. Let's go. But Boris... Don't argue. Let's get out of here. And as the train emerged from the tunnel, Boris chuckled gleefully. <laughs> well, here it is, Natasha, right over my shoulder. I certainly am. Natasha, is you? Boris, how could you mistake me for a mattress? Can I help it if you put on weight? 
spores we missed our chance. Silly girl, remember old Pennsylvanian proverb. We have only begun to fight. Darling, that was said by American John Paul Jones. We invented John Paul Jones. Oh. Well, our boys weren't bothered for the rest of the trip and finally arrived safe and sound in the movie capital of the world. Hollywood, here I am. Nobody seems to care very much, Bullwinkle. Ah, uh, but Rocky was wrong. Somebody cared a lot. Welcome. Welcome to Hollywood, stranger. Well, that's Benny. We greet you with open hearts, darling. What would you like to buy? Buy? I thought you were greeting us with open hearts. It's 50-50 deal. We open hearts, you open mattress. Buy a souvenir of Hollywood, darling. Sure. Postcards, oranges, cemetery lots, battle smug, all kind tourist attraction. Tourist? I'll have you know I'm a bona fide actor. An actor? Oh, boy, are you in luck? Sometimes, why? Do you know who I am? Come to think of it, you do look familiar. And that voice! Of course! Allow me to introduce myself. D.W. Grifter at your service. Not D.W. Grifter, the famous talent scout. Who else? Stick with me, booby. I'll make you a star. Cross your heart? Oh, of course, doll baby. Just place your mat if your fate in my hands. Your yeah, hands. And the world will be at your feet. Your yeah, hands and feet. Your salad, sweetie. Now, why should Boris stand there patting Bowickle on the back? <laughs> Looking for soft spot for the knife. Hmm, better not miss our next episode, Fun on the Freeway, or The Quick and the Dead. <laughs> And here he is, the Dean of American Numbskulls, Mr. Know-It-All. Our lecture today is entitled, How to Own a Hi-Fi on a Low Income and IQ. First, you should choose a hi-fi cabinet to match your furniture. Early American, French Provincial, or, like my own furniture, Early Junkyard. Next, we have a few of our components. This is the amplifier, which amplifies the sound. Here is the pre-amplifier, which, of course, amplifies the pre. And the turntable, which, uh, turns the tables. Over here, we see the speakers, known to all of us hi fi matics as the tweeter and the woofer. Special care must be taken to feed the woofer lest he eat the tweeter. The next step is to plug it in. And the next step is to call the electrician. The hi-fi gives us lovely music, but did you know that you can tell time with it too? Shutting that thing off is 2 a.m. Thank you. Now I'd like to play some tapes for you. A Roman in the Gloman on the bunny banks of Clyde. Must have put some scotch tape on by mistake. But here's my real favorite. Sing along with Lawrence Elk. A do 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 I bring my favorite tape, Bullwinkle. Be my guest. Put it on. Is that his if tape? Well, thank you, Mr. Nora. Mm -hmm. Tonight, Clubhouse 90 presents She Can't Pay the Rent, written and directed by Ingmar Bedenov. Bullwinkle, it's dress rehearsal already. Why can't you remember the lines? I remember the lines, okay? It's them pesky words that's giving me trouble. Well, maybe if you ran through the part yourself, Ingemar, then Bullwinkle might remember it better. Say, it's a pretty good idea. Let's run through it. Play says... Action! Is cold. No food for baby. No fuel for fire. Come in. I've come to collect rent. But I can't pay rent. But you must pay rent. You see how tricky them lines are? But I have no money! Well, maybe we can make arrangements. What do you say, Toots? Oh, cruel fate! Oh, woe is me! I'll pay the rent! Curses spoiled again! All right, you got it, Bullwinkle? Sure! Okay, from the top! He's cold! No food for baby! No fuel for fire! No fuel! <clears throat> no fuel! What have you come for? No, uh, well, I heard you was out of fuel, so I brought some. And some baby food, too. Goody, 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 goody. Cut it out! Didn't you come to collect the rent? Oh, yeah, I come to collect the rent. But I can't pay the rent. Well, that's okay, forget it. I'll pay the rent. He went that other way. Uh, Mr. Villains, uh, the rent, the rent. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> 
And now for the educational part of our program. Don't say that or nobody will watch. Anyway, here's Mr. Know-It-All. Hello, friends. Today we take up the problem of how to have a hit record. First, it is necessary to make a record. That part's easy. Oh-oh, balloot do to bitty rodo zoot de fo zoot See? But next, you gotta have it played by a top-flight disc jockey. And there's one now. Disc Dawson. Hello, Disc Dawson. You're my favorite DJ. Would you like to hear my latest hit? No, I'd like you to hear my latest hit. Sounded more like a hit and run. Now, you may think I'm discouraged, and I am, but the essential thing is, he'll remember me. I'll just press my face against the glass here, and he'll recognize me. Hello, this doll, remember me? How could I forget? If all else fails, you must impress the disc jockey with the prestige of the company that made your record. Hey, look, Mr. Disc Dawson, baby, what do you say to that? Only one thing to say. And that is... Sick him! <laughs> Gee, Mr. Know-It-All, are you gonna make another hit record? No, I'm out of the record business. But isn't that a record you're making there? Nope, it's a pizza! A <laughs> one of the coming up! Wow, guys. These Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoons were so awesome, retro, and funny at the same time. Yes, Spike, I totally agree with you. These were retro and funny. Yep. Agreed with you guys, these were funny, awesome, and retro. Yep, these were so funny and awesome at the same time. Also, these cartoons caught my big blue eyes. Yeah, Kirby, these retro cartoons caught my big brown eyes as well, dude. Yep, I agree with you. This cartoon caught my black, beady eyes as well, buddies. Yep, that was so funny, retro, and awesome at the same time, those cartoons. Yep. That was an awesome cartoon. No duh. So, may I go last, Thomas? Of course you can, Neptune. You're the last character to share some videos you like. Thanks. So, have you seen some commercials from the 2000s? Well, I hope we'll create content or something like this. These commercials don't have any in a pice. Yep. Agreed, Knuckles Boom. Me too, guys and gals. So, can we watch the commercials anyways? Oh yeah, sure. Here are the commercials from the 2000s ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy those adverts. Hold on to your sponges now on DVD and VHS. It's SpongeBob SquarePants absorbing favorites. The most karate chopping, diabolical, <laughs> Olympic, jellyfish catching, heroic, pants ripping, last episode high flying, and most talked about SpongeBob episodes ever, all in one collection. Dog. Plus, check out special features to see how you score in the Bikini Bottom personality quiz. I am so the boss of you. It's SpongeBob SquarePants absorbing favorites, available now on DVD and VHS. Attention all land lovers, set sail for the Spongebob Squarepants Season 4 Volume 1 box set, available today on DVD. Are you ready to be a winner? This two-disc collectible box set includes 20 sensational episodes and a treasure trove of bonus features, including behind the scenes with Spongebob and friends. You can't rush perfection. And two original uncut animatics. You can absorb the Spongebob Season 4 Volume 1 DVD box set today. And be on the lookout for the best day ever album in stores now. <laughs> Football in run. true high definition. Oh, wow! Wait, he breaks free. Oh, He's gonna go on. But what do you do when the game's over? Watch movies in true high def with the Toshiba HD DVD player. With up to six times the details of DVD, even your current DVD collection looks great. Get the most out of your HD TV and get something worth cheering for. The Toshiba HD DVD player, now starting as low as $149.99. Introducing the Ultimate Veggie Tales Collection. Let the silliness begin! The Ultimate Veggie Tales Collection includes three wonderfully animated adventures. In the delightfully zany story Josh and the Big Wall, Josh discovers that obedience has its rewards. Lyle the Kindly Viking is a toe-tapping spectacular, where the veggies find out that sharing gets us more of what we really want, friends. In the hilarious adventure Rack, Shack, and Benny, three brothers discover that it's important to stand 
Stand up for what's right. The ultimate silly song countdown completes the Benji collection as the pirates who don't do anything count down the top 10 most loved silly songs of all time. Four great videos, one great collection. The ultimate Veggie Tales collection. To order the ultimate Veggie Tales collection, call the number on your screen. All four videos for $29.98 plus $5.95 shipping and handling. Must be 18 or older to call. Also available on DVD. <laughs> Hello. Hi, it's Gingy. He said it was urgent. He's a cookie. Gingy. This Shrek the Third HD DVD is just too amazing. It makes me look delicious. You look great. Well, HD is the best picture you can get. No, oh, it's making me want to take a little nibble. So many shiny sprinkles. Ow! Ow! Yummy! For truly high-def movies, get HD DVD and experience the biggest hits this holiday season. It's SpongeBob SquarePants, the complete third season on DVD. This is gonna be the coolest party ever! This three-disc collectible box set features the entire third season. Plus, three discs means three times the goodies. Choose from 40 Spongetacular episodes. Or check out special bonus features like pop-up trivia facts from Steven Hillenburg and Pete. And for the first time ever on DVD, the original SpongeBob pilot episode. For years, I've been dreaming of this moment. SpongeBob SquarePants, the complete third season on DVD. Available September 27th. Seasons 1 and 2 also available. Hey, Mom, SpongeBob's at Burger King. Can we go? As soon as your dad's done. Yes. <laughs> Hey, honey. Guess who I am? Come on. Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. And I live under the sea, honey. And I pineapple. SpongeBob, no pants. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys. Only at BK. I love Monsters, Inc. That was such a good movie. I like it because it was really, really funny, and I liked all the characters. Hello, Wazowski. I like the when Mike swallows the microphone and it spits it out. You mean burps it out. This Halloween. Brazil evening plans for tonight. You can scare up some laughs. I wasn't scared. I have allergies. Disney and Pixar's Monsters, Inc. Now on DVD and video, Rated G. I like Sully because he was big and fluffy and he saved Boo. I just like Mike, he's funny. I like Mike when he stepped in the toilet. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Monsters, Inc. on DVD and video. Here now at Walmart's home entertainment department. <laughs> hey, donkey. Yeah, my wife is none too happy with how she looks in Shrek the Third on HD DVD. Why? HD is the best picture you can get. That's the problem. She says her skin's so scaly, it makes possible look big, like, like everything. Well, it's a high-def DVD, and she's a massive dragon. Did I mention we was calling from the parking lot? For truly high-def movies, get HD DVD and experience the biggest hits this holiday season. Well, guys, these were some cool 2000s commercials right here on this giant screen. So awesome. Yeah, these were nostalgic. And awesome, you know. Yay, that was totally awesome. And I agree with you guys. Well, I'm glad you liked it. So, it's time for the previews for the movie night. And then, it's the double feature show in this great home theater. Well, we are in it and so darn excited for this week's movie night. How about you? Agreed, Tails. Ugh. This is going to be so horrid.
November 2nd. The creators of Toy Story. Good morning, fellas. Hey, what's shaking, Bacon? Did you lose weight? Or a limb? Take you into the world behind your closet door. Roz, you're looking fabulous today. Is that a new haircut? New makeup. You've had a lift. You've had a tuck. You've had something. We've always been afraid monsters were there. Scary feet, scary feet, scary feet. Look, the kids are Waiting to scare us. Twins and a bunk bed. <laughs> but what we didn't know is that we scared them. What happened? The kid almost touched me. You can't touch a child. They're toxic. If a kid ever got through one of our doors, the results would be catastrophic. Bucket. Walt Disney Pictures presents... Is a killing machine! A Pixar Animation Studios film. There's a kid here! A human kid! We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child. Let's keep it. I always wanted a pet that could kill me! What are you doing? Monsters Incorporated. Put that thing back where it came from, also help me. So help me, so help me, and cut. <laughs>
Explosive Sneezy. Ah! <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. Ever Snoozing Sleepy. Hard to get. <laughs> Lovable Dopey. And there's Prince Charming. The Heartless Queen. <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite! Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the one I love. I hope, I hope, in home from work we go. Was it really just our last good night when I saw the light and I know that you've been telling lies? Oh no. Get your hands full of water. You snort and you snuff and go. <laughs> in action, as you've never seen him before in his newest movie, Little Big Man. With the help of Martin Balsam and Faye Dunaway, he makes Little Big Man the comedy adventure of the year. You better <laughs> Got to cut your throat to get it through your head, I'm a white man. White? Sure I'm white. Woo! Did you hear me say God bless George Washington? God bless my mother. I mean, now what kind of Indian would say a fool thing like that? Dustin Hoffman in Little Big Man. What moviegoer could ask for more? Rated GP. Richard Harris is a man called Horse. He goes west to discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. horse. To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun bow ceremony, perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. America, 1957. It was howdy duty time and rock and roll was king. You cruising for a bruising sign? You want a mouthful of bloody chicklets? And Melvin and the rock and roll rebels were wanted for bank robbery, kidnapping, bigamy, and 57 violations of the traffic code. Crazy Mama! Drop those guns, lady! Crazy Mama! Rated PG. from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination. He's the master of the flying guillotine. And he's ready to blow your mind. 
with more nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before. It's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. Nature strikes back in tidal wave. The most destructive natural force on Earth. First came the earthquake, crushing whole cities. Then raging firestorms, destroying thousands. But the worst is yet to come. When that wave hits 80 million people will be wiped out. Tidal wave. Rated PG. you were so sure was real what if you were unable to wake from that dream how would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world what is happening to me the answer is out there neo it's the question that drives us what is the matrix the Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? They're watching you, Neo. Human beings are a disease. You are a cancer of this planet. And we are the cure. Get me the hell out of here! Welcome to the real world. So you're here to save the world. So what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy. Because Kansas is going bye-bye. there's a hero in all of us gives us strength makes us noble even though sometimes we have to give up the thing we want the most Barker! where you been looking for you all morning you're late always late you're fired look at your people your grades have been declining you always appear exhausted i know i'm trying so where you been pal you don't return my calls i've been kind of busy Taking pictures of your friend. Spider-Man killed my father. No matter what I do. Do you love me or not? No matter how hard I try, 
I want Spider-Man dead. It's the ones I love who will always be the ones who pay. I can't keep thinking about you. I'm getting married. I want a life of my own. And Spider-Man. No more. You look different. I let things get in the way before. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. I like seeing you tonight, Peter. Now on to the main event. Octavius is going to put Oscorp on the map in a way my father never even dreamed of. Crazy scientist turns himself into some kind of a monster. Four mechanical arms welded right onto his body. We take Spider-Man's pictures. Where is he? He's taken me off your loyalty to Spider-Man and not your best friend. Bring Spider-Man to me. Not our friend. Peter Parker. Find Spider-Man or I'll peel the flesh off our bones. There are bigger things happening here than me and you. surprise for you, son. No, 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 Dad! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I am. You're not getting a Porsche. <laughs> Let me tell you something, son. A driver don't pick the cars. Mm -mm. The cars pick the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. What is this? We're under attack! We're facing war against a technological civilization far superior to our own. Our enemy can take any shape. They could be anywhere. It's a robot, you know, like a super advanced robot. It's probably Japanese. No, 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 no! These were some cool and awesome movie trailers that I have ever seen. The Dupe Dwarf is making my ears wiggle like he does. Yeah. Hey, Gnomeum, I agree with you, dude. These are some of summer movie previews, by the way.
So, boys, are you darn ready for the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water? Hell yeah, Zooey, so damn ready for the second SpongeBob movie. Yeah, so, let's wait for Dora to catch up with us. Excuse me, may I use the restroom please? Of course, but be back quick Dora, you don't want to miss the rest of the movie night, do you? Alright. I'm about to leave now. Goodbye. Hi there WBBZY, Pablo, Yankee Dude 5000, Cyans, and Merfields. Hi there Dora, we have invited you to see the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, do you want to join? Sure. Let's get going into the theater right now, boys. You see, Dora, Yankee Dude 5000, and Pills can wiggle their ears, isn't that awesome? Yeah. I want to see your ears wiggle, boys. Of course Dora, look at our ears, it's awesome. Wow boys. Nice ear wiggle. It reminds me of Dopey from Snow White. I love it. Thanks Dora. I appreciate it. Alright everyone. The movie is about to start right now. Sit tight my friends. It's going to be so awesome. Alright, name the town. I'll be on my way in the morning. What? Nineveh? You don't want me to go there. In a land of mystery. <laughs> Nineveh! It's the other end of the world! <laughs> in a town full of trouble. Nineveh, the biggest, meanest city around. Those people do not know right from wrong. It's up to one reluctant asparagus. You are a Jonah! You are a big shot! <laughs> I have the Jonah plush toy. With the help of some fearless friends. We are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Oh, lovely. To go where no vegetable has dared to go. We got trouble! You are... you are... Fish spoon. <laughs> big Idea Productions presents... Ah! Archibald Asparagus <laughs> Bob the Tomato Oh dear Larry the Cucumber Perhaps I can be of assistance <laughs> Oops And introducing A caterpillar named Khalil That is only half true My mother was a caterpillar My father was a worm But I am okay with that now they may be fresh. Uh, ah, they're a fresh when we cut them. <laughs> they may be feisty. Didn't I tell you to get off my ship, you lousy leaf eater? Fire one! But soon, they may be lunch. <laughs> Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. This fall. Only in theaters. It is very delightful, but I must go now. It's one of the most beloved animated classics of all time. I wish I was a boy. Is that you, dear blue fairy? But that's another movie. Ow, you're hurting me, dear blue fairy. How many times I gotta tell you, dog rest, I ain't no fairy! Coming only to theaters. Is it really you? In the fur! Disney's teacher's pet. Wow! A boy. The musical tale of a dreamer. In with the dream again. It's not enough you dress up like a boy and go to that cockamamie school every day. Who is so over being Rover. Be a good doggy. This really stinks. You should smell it from down here. What? Until one day. Dr. 
writer Ivan Crank claims he can turn animals into dumb human beings just like you. It's my dream come true. Now he's taking a chance. I've got to meet that man. And unleashing the power of his inner boy. What? Who is that? He looked a lot shorter on TV. Maybe it's the axe. I shall make you a boy. Oh, that is just wrong on so many levels. A boy needs a dog. Needs a boy. Needs a dog. Needs a boy. Needs a dog. Boy, 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 boy. Coming only to theaters. Disney's Teacher's Fat. He's good. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Since the beginning of time, mankind has searched for answers to the big questions. Where did we come from? Is there life after death? Are we alone? But today, in this very theater, you'll be asked to answer the ultimate question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Bigger, squarier, spongier. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. Oh! Oh! oh. It feels delicious to be so vicious. I'm the Loga, the queen of me. There, he accidentally comes face to face with a little girl. Cho. And her brother, Gus. Who's me? I'm Stanley. What's your name? Rosie. Watch this. Together, they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. After them! Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. <laughs> now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms in a movie that will make your heart sing. A troll in Central Park. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything. epidemic of fish fever is sweeping the nation. It is highly contagious. Fortunately, there is no cure. It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. It's the fish. Fish. They're all Pisces. All Pisces? It's the fish that saved Pittsburgh. It's dazzling. It's futuristic. It's fun. Some balloons for everybody. I mean, it's a sacrilege, and it's what it is. It's got speed. It's got rhythm. All across the land. It's got style. 
just like gong chill. It's a new sensation, a celebration, and a secret weapon. It's fish fever. And once you catch it, you're hooked. The fish that saves Pittsburgh. An astrological disco sports extravaganza. And may the fish be with you. Award-winning motion picture producer, Samuel L. Bronkowitz. I have spent a lifetime in the motion picture industry. Now, after 50 years in Hollywood, I have finally produced what I feel is the finest motion picture ever made. I have called it the Kentucky Fried Movie. The Kentucky Fried Movie heralds the return to traditional values. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. It is a film of heartfelt passion, a great love story. Oh, take me to the drive and prove you love me. <laughs> it explores the subtle nuances of interpersonal relationships. <laughs> of course, there are occasional moments of comic relief. <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Movie is a film that demands the greatest performances from the finest actors of the cinema. Hey, look, Roy. Roy. I tell you, this building is unsafe. The National Guard is powerless to deal with the situation. Governor, what are we going to do? An anticipated 10% price hike across the board on petroleum prices. I invite every man, woman, and child to share with me the joy and warmth of the Kentucky Fried Movie. It will knock your socks off. Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying him down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a frog. <laughs> How do I get myself talked into these things? A frog who thinks he's a prince. Voila! They call me your Johannes. Trying to save a swan. Hold up! To the rescue, mademoiselle! A swan who's really a princess. Princess of death. And that's just for starters. The Swan Princess, featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure, go on, John Bob. Race to your death. Sandy Duncan. No, it can't be. Jack Palance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Dead. Derek. A magical musical animated adventure. Swan Princess. The secret of a successful beer is advertising. That makes sense. 
You are about to enter the dynamic, high-pressured world of advertising. You're all yes men. Whenever I ask you a question, you're always going to say yes. What good is that? I need men who will tell me what they think. Am I right, Reamer? Yes. You're fired. Get up. Don't look back. Press the down button. Here, creative people team up to exchange brilliant ideas. Ideas that will influence everything from what we drive. Okay, honey, do your stuff. To what we put in our mouths. I don't like it. All right, then picture this, and how about this? Longer cans. I hate it. Smythe, you're the uh, creative director. Uh, you got anything you can uh, throw out at us here? We get a bunch of guys. They work in construction. And after a hard day's work, they reach for some Norbecker beer. They all reach for a beer. Each one gets a beer. Then they hold them up. Smythe? You're fired. Get out. Mr. Femer. Yes, Miss Tucker, what does the lady executive have to say? I'm putting together a concept. And now, you're about to experience more drama. I will smash Anakin. And more action than you've ever expected in a light comedy. When me and my buddies are drinking Norbeck of Pilsner, we don't like being disturbed. No, a Becca Pills. Have one if you're tough enough. I want macho. What has beer got to do with being a man? <laughs> Alcoholism, divorce, violence in the streets. We're doing great. You pick the right kind of guys for this sort of thing. Me and my buddies, case of Nora Becker, and let nature take its course. Commercial over your guy? Those commercials, come on, fellas. They are disgusting. They are degrading. Or are they? Let's find out. I'm just trying to make a living like everybody else. So come on, guys. We thought you know our beggars. Beer. The funniest movie ever to come out of a bottle. Come on, honey, let's get going. Daddy's sort of in a hurry. Can we make pancakes? Oh, honey, I don't know if I have the right stuff for that. I think this milk is spoiled. No, that's not possible because I checked this milk. For Evan Danielson, life was all work. You said you'd do dress up. Daddy has a lot of work to do. And no play. Hey, remember we talked about the day was going to come. You couldn't take the blanket to school with you anymore? Well, that day's going to be today. But he's about to get some help. Where are my notes for the 11 o'clock? I think they're in there. Oh, my God. From the last person he ever imagined. Did you draw my worksheets? Pictures of people kissing or something? The princess says those companies are going to get married. How did you know about this impending marriage? I just... I, where are you getting this information? Okay, let me get this right. The princesses tell you things about companies? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I got a couple of other companies I want to ask them about. From Paramount Pictures. There they are. We'll have to sing a song she likes. Please let me pass. Higher. And have an aneurysm? Please let me pass. She really hates that. Uh, yeah, I'm with her. At Nickelodeon Movies. The entire community is talking about you. I want you to find out where he's getting his information. He just hangs out with his daughter. You have to dance. You have to dance, too? They dance and they laugh. Hey, Evan. Hey, what's going on, man? How you <laughs> playing with a blanket. Tell Olivia Danielson that dad's out here and needs the blanket. I'm going to give you $20. Uh, I'll take 50 my brother. I have a coffee card. I don't drink coffee. Do you like scones? Scones? What I look like? The Queen of England? Get this food! <laughs> This summer... Do you honestly believe that that blanket has something to do with everything that's been going on? You have two jobs. And one of those jobs is being a father. And she needs to know that you care as much about that job as you do the other. Imagine that the magic you've been looking for is right before your eyes. What do you want to do now? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Who wants pancakes? We have any condiments? Ketchup, mustard, hot sauce. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Please protect my daddy's throat. He never done nothing to nobody, Lord. You never done nothing to nobody, Lord. Imagine that. Can I please see the bill? Four hundred thousand dollars. You must be out your mind, woman. You trying to get me for my paper? Come on. And now, 
The main attraction. Wow, guys. This was the best movie night ever. I know, there were a bunch of movie previews shown in this home theater. That was super awesome. Yeah, I bet those movie trailers will make your ears wiggle. Yeah, right! Have you seen my singular wiggle? Anyways, look closer to my ear. Pretty awesome! It's you guys and girls. Yep! That was so darn awesome. Yep, I agree with Pac-Man. That was so darn awesome, Eggman Boom. Whoa! Pac-Man, Pikachu! You guys are so funny when you guys wiggle your ears and your nose. Well, Mario, Luigi, Gold Mario, I, I, Sonic, Tails, Sonic Boom, Tails Boom, Eggman Boom, Isabel, and Jigglypuff, wiggle your ears. We want to see your ears wiggle. Of course guys, watch our ears wiggle. It's so awesome. Wow boys and girls, that's an awesome and cute ear wiggle. You're making my ears wiggle. Why thanks guys we appreciate it you're making my ears wiggle so fast as well. Hey you're super welcome. You guys are so awesome. Hey guys, do you know where Dora is? Well guys, she is supposed to be using the restroom. But no, she ditched from the movie night to see the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. So anyways. Who's with us to punish Dora? So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to punish Dora for watching the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water? Born and ready. So, do you want to get going everybody? Yep. I agree with Kirby. Let's get going to the theater right now. Awesome. Let's go boys and girls. We have a mission to start. Come on. So, do you hear anything in the cinema? Oh yeah. I hear anything in this theater. Do you guys hear it in the cinema? Yep. I hear it as well. So, let's go punish Dora for good guys and gals. Awesome. Let's go. Wow guys. This Spongebob movie is so many times better than Pixar and Marvel. Don't you agree? Hell yeah Dora, I agree with you. Even better than Marvel and Lucasfilm as well. Wait a minute, I see Pablo, Wubsy, Yankee Dude 5000, Science World Cartoons, and Mephilus joined Dora. Yeah Pikachu, I see those bad buddies in my big brown eyes. Yep, I see those bad dudes in my big blue eyes as well. How about you guys? Yep, my big eyes are looking at the troublemakers. Yep, my BD eyes caught Dora and her friends. Let's go punish those kids right now. Great. Come on. Let's catch Dora and her friends from watching Spongebob right now. Oh god shit. We're in deep trouble. All of you go home right now. We're calling your parents and guardians.
Dora, how dare you ditch Thomas and Amanda's movie night to see the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. You know that movie is made by Paramount and Nickelodeon. And you're banned from stuff made by Viacom CBS as well. Yep, I agree with your mother. You are grounded and punished for cinco weeks. Go to your room right now and don't come downstairs until further notice, young lady. <laughs> Slash, do you want to see some 1980s movie trailers, boys? Oh, sure. We love to see some movie previews from the 1980s. Let's watch those trailers. Sure. So what the heck are we waiting for, buddy? Yeah, I bet the 1980s were retro an awesome time, you know. Yeah, agreed, Waddle D. These were some retro times, you know, dude. Yeah, we're watching those retro 1980s movie trailers. Awesome sauce. In the year 2011, it was their perfect world. But there was no room for heroes. Have them brought in. There was no room for freedom. And now, it was time to run. Blow that jerk's car. The last chase. All right, come on, baby. thousand feet. The ultimate hero driving the last car on earth in a fight for survival. B majors. Chris Makepeace and Burgess Meredith as Williams. One ninety, two oh five, two ten, two twenty, two thirty, two forty. The last chase. Once upon a time, that hasn't happened yet, there will be a spaceship called the Infinity. And steering the Infinity among the heavenly bodies will be the most heavenly body of them all, called Galaxina, a dream machine, transistorized and computerized to lead her space buddies across the farthest reaches of fantastic adventure. With class. Venusian Thunder Ripple. 2001. Great year. Great. Galaxina. 
the beautiful. Galaxina, the untouchable. <laughs> Galaxina, the invincible. She cleans. She cooks. She can clean. She does windows and more. I've adjusted my temperature. I'm better than a human woman. What year is it? 3,035. I got 3,033. This thing's slow. It's party time on the planets with the beautiful people of the intergalactic jet set. <laughs> At least you're not two-faced. But you wouldn't have chosen the one you've got on. Tension to the fourth dimension as they dodge death rays across the universe. Good guys. Bad guys. Nice aliens. Marty! Okay. Huh? <laughs> it will be my <laughs> Nasty aliens. The name's Mr. Spot. Galaxina, starring Stephen Mock, Avery Schreiber, James David Hinton, and introducing Dorothy R. Stratton, Playboy's Playmate of the Year as your favorite gal, Galaxina. You know what winning that contest means to me in my life. Five years we've been playing 15 bucks a night club dates in places like Modesto and Redwood City. And you really think you have a chance to win? We're gonna be up there on that stage in the finals. Pinsky, Daniel. Height, six feet. Weight, 150 pounds. Occupation, part-time in a cab. Sorry. Part-time on a stage. Love is why I live. Full-time, on the run. Hey! What's the matter with you, man? You sick? Oh. He's wanted. Count of five, Pinsky! Wanted by the police for 78 parking tickets. Yes. This is taxi. And three murders. Ah! I just kind of had a chance to clear myself. Now I'm a murderer on the front page. Morning. Wanted by a girl named Amy. That's your good, huh? Forever. Fine, Pinsky. Pursued by just about everyone for a monkey. Get off me! 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 Nobody's killing each other for a monkey? Precisely. You little nothing. You little niche. This ain't no ordinary monkey. One of our men is missing an action. Pinsky! Pinsky's out there somewhere in no man's land. Cut off from his outfit. Look for Pinsky over a hill. Over Dale! Over every dusty trail! <laughs> the halls of the Cow Palace to the shores of Sausalito! <laughs> Men, find them! Who are you? What is this place? Who are those goons out there? Why can't I go? What's going on here? Last, the motion picture that shows the world how to succeed in rock and roll without really dying. What does anything mean without love? He walked like him. He talked like him. Give me five, yo, mama, get down. He even cooked yeah! like him. He wanted to be yeah! just like Bruce Lee. So he regulated his diet, began intensive training, yeah! and learned to live like a great samurai master. You must know Kung 
Earth. Oh yeah, I was stepping. And as his reputation throughout the land, his days became filled with new challenges. Eating chicken with nunchucks. Defeating criminals with a flick of his hand. And defending good against evil. They give that man his church back. He lived a life of non-stop action. Got the cards, sir. Yes! your feelings into words put them in a letter listen to this I, I don't know how to tell you what i want to tell you i'll never find the nerve to give you this letter anyway but i just love you more than words can say i'm in love i long to have your arms around me and feel your body against mine oh radical but be careful where you put the letter take your hands off my daughter fruit lips oh it's the mail man my mother's in there crying i hope you're happy She said, I really like it. Michael, she loved it, okay? She looked great. My son's in the next car. He's with my daughter. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. Oh, she loved it. Whoa. Well, what about you? Me? Oh, I have no standards. I mean, I'd even go out with you. It wasn't good. It was great. You and me, him and her, all together at the same house at the same time. Uh, one more thing, little boy. Oh, God. You get her pregnant, I'll play you. No sacrifice. No reward. Secret admirer. Well, what do you want me to do? Do it right. X, X, X. O, O, O. X, X. You gotta write her another one? This summer, learn how to do it right. See Secret Admirer. Well, yeah. Uh, these were some awesome hands. 1980s movie trailers. Yeah. I agree with you, Pac-Man. These were some awesome 1980s movie trailers. Even though I haven't seen them before. Yeah! These retro 1980s movie trailers were so cool, and so funny. Well, my friends, I'm glad that you like those retro 1980s movie previews.